Keeps clips and remember, citizens, always subscribe. Hit the notification bell as well. And ninety nine five plus shipping and handling will keep you out of hell. <sighs> Fucking hell, man! I've turned that light on so bright. I do need my sunglasses, in it. Anyway, welcome everybody, one and all. Uh, the idea is to keep this under ten minutes, but I can rattle on. So I just want to barter straight into it, man. Um, let's start a hate campaign <laughs> against the uh, new hate crime laws, you know, that are so ambiguous, let's be honest. L like most laws, by the way, like most laws. Uh, the, the cops, the legal system, the judges, um, not the juries, let's get that straight, uh, can make this up as they go along. It's all in their discretion. What's good for one is not good for the other. They can make this up as they go along. It's basically just gave them carte blanche. Here, we can't be asked fucking dictating what the law is. We, we, can't, we don't know what you can and can't say. Uh, so just make it up as you go along. Use your discretion. If you think he's a naughty man, if you think he's just a bad woman, then do them. If you don't think they're a good guy, good guy, Good guy, wank. Only Scottish people, <laughs> oh, wait, I think only West Coast Central Belt Scottish folk will get that, man. An old comedy show where it would just tell you the, the story of life. Good guy, good guy, good guy, wank. And this, 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 this is what this law is. But this law just opens it up to interpretation by fucking the powers that may, may, the powers at be, the powers that may not should be, you know, again, good guy, good guy, good guy, wank. It's not as if right now we're not living in a fucking parad, no paradigm, living in a world where we've just fucking seen a bobby in the beat down in the fucking met, getting caught being a scumbag arresting women and raping the shit out of them and stuff, man. So, again, it's like, it's a slippery slope. It's getting used by the right wing. It's getting used by the left wing. I even heard... Nah, fuck it. I even heard the big Mickey Bastard of the day, man, when, we were in this, when I was in the steam room, right? I could tell where they smell. No, I couldn't tell where they smell. It was all the fucking Irish tattoos. No, that way. And, uh, I can't even remember how we started talking about it. Oh, that was, I started talking about the hate speech law. And he's like, yeah, the, it was a bunch of, what was, it, what was it he used? I can't remember the word. Royalists or unionists, I can't remember. The Baroy or the Parliament. Getting the knickers and the twist about it. <coughs> uh, but like, <coughs> I mean, let's be honest. Well, let's be honest. This is me being honest. It's not the first time shit like this has happened, it won't be the last time. But it's a slippery slope and that's how we've ended up here, where we're, we're handing over. Rather than having a rule book, right? Yeah, yay or nay, this is just leaving everything in the middle lane. Lawyers are loving it. Judges are loving it. They can make decisions at their discretion. There is no right or wrong. You know, um, asking if... And I'm not joking, ha Hamza, you, I don't know his name, the fucking PM, the, the, the SMP gimp right now, right, uh, to my eyes he looks like the Asian, for, for, uh, hailing for the Asian persuasion, so it was me saying that he smells like curry hate, <laughs> like he smells, he might smell like curry, is that hate, or is the laughter in my voice, the smile on my face, I mean, look, is, where is the line? Uh, I misspoke earlier and said, I misspoke because I misread because I'm a bit daft and a bit stupid, which is good in the courtroom. You can argue that in the courtroom, you know. Grey lines, grey areas. Lawyers love it. But it's a joke. So, what else? Uh, right, so here. Um, the reason I want to start a hate campaign, right, is everybody just starts because... There's nothing that Scottish people know better than fucking hate. We hate 
fucking everything, man. Right day, right time, right mood, right fucking wrong, right rhyme. We hate it all, man. We've, we've, we've got good cunts, bad cunts, yellow cunts, brown cunts, fucking green cunts. Every form of cunt you've got is referring to somebody as a cunt hate. Because we're class we choose our fuck. Right? Uh, is anybody aware of Gaelic? Gaelic? Not garlic, Gaelic! Exactly! The fucking wiped out languages before. And this is what we're witnessing. I, w I want somebody to be able in Scotland, especially Glasgow, it would speak like a fucking Glaswegian in 10, 15, 20 years time. And not like some fucking rat for the fucking hood in New York. Or fucking some yardy for London. Call me crazy, man. Call me crazy. And that means being able to call a fucking restaurant run by Chinese people a chinky. It's an inanimate object. Is that hate? Again, another inanimate object. A shop. Which, believe it or not, a lot of the time on the fucking corner. And majority of the fucking thing ran by Asians. Do you want to know why that is? Do you want to know why that is? Because Asians have got shopkeeping in their blood, man. One of the... Ah, he, he, uh, well, Egypt's more in Africa than Asia, isn't it? But it's got a heavy uh, Asian slant. You go to fucking Egypt, man. Fucking our shopkeepers fucking trying to sell their wares. We would call it Maggie's Market back in the day, doing an Easter house. <laughs> I don't think that exists. Or Paddy's Market. I don't even think you'd be able to call it Paddy's Market anymore. Uh, out towards the bar is they shut that down. Fucking crying shame. And it's just like bulldozing fucking whatever straight strands of culture you've got that people want to hold. Not even that they want to hold on to. It might not even be shit that you're proud of, but it's your fucking culture and where you're healthy. No being able to, I don't know. Call people a bam. Or, right, I'll, I'll give you a good example. When I was growing up, you used to be able to call people black bastards. And it just meant they were bogging. It had fuck all. To the, the, the concept of that race thing hadn't even entered your mind. It was just innocent and stencil. It was just, it was as innocent as calling somebody, somebody that, telling somebody they stink. But then you grow up and they're like, no, you can't call a blackboard black, a blackboard. What? That actually, I can remember that happening and just being confused. They're just confusing me to fuck. Um, but we should start a hate campaign against the fucking hate. <laughs> the police don't have the resources to fucking deal with robberies or shoplifting. But they're going to, they're going to pretend... Some sort of a illusion to shut you the fuck up. And remember the chap your door, don't answer it. No, in fact, in fact, do what the fuck you want. Don't take fucking any... Ah, legally I'm a retard. Broke the law again, broke the law again. Right, so, the police can't police robberies. They refuse to police robberies. They refuse to turn up for lots of crimes. You can shoplift at will. You can shoplift it well. <laughs> and, uh, but they can police your speech. Everybody's speech has got consequences. These consequences have been enshrined in law for fucking decade after decade after... Aye, decade after decade. So what's changed? What's changed? They're trying to... They, the Illuminati. They're... they're Overstretching their power, they're trying to. Uh, they're, they're they're sticking their dick in your letterbox. I made this point earlier on, right, and I took it to the worst case scenario, but it was funny nevertheless because it could possibly happen. This ain't beyond the confines of genuinely happen, right? So you're in a fucking group call, and in the, and somebody that's in that group call has a wee fucking. Some cunt wearing tights in the room, and somebody says to me, ah, "I seen you acting like I've I seen the way you acted when you seen that bee, and oh, I fucking acting like a big poof." 
And that fucking guy wearing the tights gets offended and reports me to the cops for in the fucking confines of my own home talking in a fucking circle of fucking friends having a giraffe calling myself a poof a big poof a big bulky fucking sexy looking poof that's what was that's that's what the, the description would be can I get charged I want to be the try I want to be the test trial where's Count Spunkula here Count Spunkula get your Nazi pug to call itself a big poof and get your Jewish pals to get get your Jewish pals to <laughs> uh, to fucking uh, report it into the, the cops in Airdrie. Let's see what happens. See if we can get you another court appearance, mate. Because you, I think your, I think your credibility sunk since she became a bedtime story, motherfucker. Like all these fake ass motherfucking. Oh, oh, dare I say it? Dare I say it? These fake ass niggers on YouTube. I called a fucking big group of fucking truffles niggers because of the expression fake ass niggers. I'm not gonna my my speech isn't gonna get curtailed by any of this shit, man. And there you live by the sword. I'll die by the sword. But fuck knows. <coughs> but let's start a heat campaign against these fucks. And it's uh, like, not singling anybody out, but the judiciary for allowing this to go through and every uh, MP that supported it. And when I say a campaign of hate, I don't mean, like, I, like, I certainly wouldn't he fucking say anything against, uh, say, wouldn't he, uh, and this isn't any winking or anything, anybody that wants to do violence against another human being because they have a different point of view to you is retarded. Shit, just broke the law again. I just broke the law. Fucking can't help myself because I'm a criminal. <laughs> um, but um, so th that goes without saying. I mean, I don't think you need fucking subtitles for the fucking heavily, heavily retarded. Like uh, saying, uh, I hate a Snickers bar. Does that mean that you should deep fat fry it and eat it? No, in fact, that's exactly what I'm, no, because I love Snicker bars, <laughs> deep fat fried, battered and deep fat fried. But do you know what I mean? You don't need to, there's, there's a, there's a, there's, there's a, there's, there's a fucking, you don't need to tell people don't pick your, don't stick your finger up your ass and eat it in public. That goes without saying, there's things that you do not need enshrined in fucking law. It's not even enshrined in law, it's all fucking legislation. Fucking sprinkled, I don't even want to go down the legalese route and all that, but it's bull crap. And I'm so glad there's a ah, fucking Zeke Hal, fucking JK Rowling, man. Well, fuck, I want her for next PM. Although I, ain't, I heard that she shagged Sturgeon at one point, but don't tell anybody. I'm pretty sure that's hate speech, implying that one of them's got a vagina. <laughs> anyway, hey, hey. I'll speak to a few people in the chat because my phone's going a bit fucked and I can't even put these shitty glasses on. Uh, in the evening, people looking lying, how you doing? Uh, we jock, how you doing, my man? Uh, that's how I pay for it. <laughs> uh, da Danny sends his love. Tell him his hair is beautiful, mate. He's, he looks lovely. No see them in ages, though. Uh, no English taxis come to Scotland. Where's Lady Tom old boy deep in Lady Tom? Totally raging at him. Has anyone seen the latest desecration of the Union flag? I hope you're being sarcastic there, mate. I, well, I can see the... Uh, it's, it's like, what the fuck? Who gives a fuck about a football strip and what colour it is? I, I get it, but, I don't, but the, 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 the hoo-ha that's getting made out of it is redunculous, isn't it? Redunculous. Uh, if I come to Glasgow, I don't feel loved unless someone slags me off. Mate, Glasgow's the most warmest fucking city you'll ever get. Most of it, unless you're an asshole. See if you conduct yourself in, uh, uh, as a normal human being. You can walk into the hardest, or uh, supposedly the hardest boozer in Glasgow. And, like, not only will you not get harassed if you're act, uh, acting like a normal human being, you probably get fucking some cunt want to jibber jabber with you in a friendly manner. That's the reality. There's no 
stop music and all that. Unless you're like gang affiliated and cunts know your face and like, ah, is that me fucking... Or you're like, what, a pure G or something? Do you know what I'm talking about? The cunts will want to know who you are. Uh, but <laughs> as long as you're no stepping into other people's territory as a known man who stabbed fucking little Betty behind the bars fucking cousin two weeks ago, you're all good in the hood. You know what I mean? Don't get that impression about Glasgow, man. That ain't the fucking reality. It genuinely isn't he? I would argue. All right, Roberto, my man. Street in 1984, lost the context, buddy, but I get you. Uh, nobody uh, has to be truthful, fully harassed, alarmed, disgraced. Only likely to be. Oh, mate, I've, I've no even. I haven't even entertained myself with the legal easy yet because uh, I'd end up spending hours tearing at your part because it is, it's just, it was ambiguous. It can mean anything to anybody and lawyers gobble that shit up. So it literally is there to be selectively implied. You know, it's not like you paid your TV licence, you didn't pay your TV licence. This is like, uh, right, I said, uh, Hammer, you, 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 I don't even know his, I can't remember his name, he's full fucking, Abu Hamza, is that his name? Right, stick with Abu Hamza, the head of the SMP right now, right? Abu Hamza, um, I said he smelt like curry, right, is that he? What the hatred on my fucking face, is that he? He might smell like curry sometimes. <laughs> and I'm going to the worst possible place possible that I can fucking possibly think of for the hate of the hate of the hate of the hate to try and prove the... Re- not prove. I'm going to prove fuck all with a loon ball at me. To try and show the lunacy. A little, like, show what I perceive to be the lunacy of this shit. Uh, <laughs> cheers, Roberto, for the fucking... I'm going to, I'll check it out at some point. No doubt it'll come out in the wash when I'm paying attention. But I haven't touched base with it as of yet, mate. I'm pretty sure they brought it in in April Fools, which was even funnier. I was just waiting for them to go, ah, yay, hey, hate the game, not the player, hey. Oh, is that allowed? You allowed to hate the game? What about the player? <laughs> uh, squeaking. Chickens come under hate speech. I've lost the joke there, mate. But uh, imagine chickens staying next to you with your tips in a minute. Offence isn't given, it's taken. I hear you, man. Plain words here, right? But here. See, getting away from all these words that get used in the sphere of fucking social media and fucking mainstream media and all that shit, right? There's an unspoken fucking common decency in there. There's an unspoken, it doesn't have to be written down. You don't need a cunt and a funny wig to fucking use fucking fanny fucking cunts who are usually their fucking nieces and nephews sitting there in funny costumes lording it over you when they're fucktards. Have you ever witnessed what retards lawyers are in the courtroom? Oh, 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 that'd be me. I have, man. I'm doing like that. Boom, boom, playing with this little bitch. Boom, 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 boom. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know what to do. She says, I put it to you. And I'm sitting there like that. I swear to God, didn't he budge? It's like, I put it to you. No, man, is that a question? <laughs> Tom didn't fucking see the sheriff, my lap. Pissing himself as we both look. She couldn't answer whether it was a question or not. Dumbass bitches. Because these little fucking young dung. No well paid, obviously. Anyway, fucking idiots. (laughs) So, anyway, back to the campaign. The campaign, start a hate campaign against the hate laws. Hey, how's that going to work? Well, just project your hatred towards this until they outlaw hatred, because right now it's just hate speech. So I'm going to put it mines in Braille. 
Right, I'm going to put mine in Braille. Fucking sheets and sheets and sheets of Braille. I'm going to bring the printing pack, bring printing presses back. I'm going to fucking have to dig up Gothenburg or Gothenburg or whoever that cunt was and get the printing presses back on that. <laughs> Thomas, get that shit back on the go, man. Pages and pages of Braille endlessly turning up at the fucking legit... Le legislator and fucking every MP surgery, because that's how you're meant to contact your MPs legitimately and democratically endless, endless, endless braille uh, uh, that's no speech it's braille and writing, bitch <laughs> and bastards uh, take it, because you're fucking fucking with our law to stop our right to hate and you can't tell Scottish if sentence if Scottish people know about anything, it's fucking hating. And to take a Scottish cunt's fucking right to hate away, well, put it in fucking braille. So I'm saying, like, we need to start like the underground railroad braille fucking schools. We'll even do Gaelic and braille, bring the languages back away for the red coat fucks. <laughs> right, bring back ba Braille <laughs> and then you can be as hateful as you fucking want bitches they'll need to rewrite the rewrite of the rewrite and then they'll be writing it in Braille too beautiful plan right so like let's start a hate campaign against this bullshit man to shut it down man slap it in its face I hope the Billy Boys get put up to their knees in Fenian blood, surrender or you'll die. Right, I hope fucking 48,000 Rangers fans are singing that Sunday in it. Pretty sure it's Sunday, no Saturday. Sunday, remember it's early doors because you can't get too drunk and get trusted at a football game. Freedom! Thank you, William Wallace. And now I know why you had a claymore, motherfucker. So you could talk, run out a rock up at a fucking old forum and sing a fucking song that cunts had been singing for over a hundred years. Hundred years plus. And then, I got my tights on. Let's stop that shit. It's ridiculous, man. What world have we slipped in? And then, like, we're, we're sold this shit on the fucking back of freedom. <laughs> what a giraffe. But anyway, that's me off my high horse. <laughs> Freedom! But bring back him. I'm telling these guys, get your Braille typewriters. The fucking two ninety nine on the in fact I'll get you twenty two ninety nine on Amazon's, but I'll get you one for twenty quid. And we'll start underground railroads fucking braille service and then the canny do is we hate speech. And everybody will be able to learn Braille. So everybody will be on the fucking on the on the on the underground and the trains and all like that. They won't be looking at, they won't be licking their windies. Who the fuck is my windy licking device? They won't be licking their windies, they'll be like, just going like that, reading their braille. <laughs> and it will be all against, it will be hatred. It will be pure Scottish venom and hatred against this fucking hatred speech law. Just don't speak it. Just fucking it. <sighs> There's another protest. Just rock up, right? Thousands of people just like. No speech. I've lost my voice. Uh, or, or even better. How would this go down in town? See if you get one of those. Meow, meow. I cannot speak. The voice not speaking. Are they going to do the speech? Does this. Can you charge the speech box? I don't know. What's up, Gordon, man? Oh, hold on. Hi, everybody, everybody can hear things. Uh, if you want to join in the chit chat, Gordon, phone me on Skype, uh, phone me on WhatsApp, mate. I know the mobile. Can I do two things at once? Right, I'll read the rest of these things. <laughs> Offence is given, not taken. 
I'm facing. Shit, I got on this. Gordon, phone me on the WhatsApp. No, the telephone. Otherwise, it's two things at once, man. Otherwise, if you can't do that, man, I'll, I'll phone you when I'm done. Buddy. Because I will be done sh shortly. <laughs> you Thomas. Kate's uh, emotion over there anyway. What the fuck was that? I'm gonna go. I can't fucking read now. I can't see, never mind read. It's a bit of fucking bad com bit, bit of a bad combo. Hey, I was writing shit there, right? Where was I? Street of an 1884, Gordon. Uh, I. If I come to Glasgow, slags it by nobody has to be truthful. Well, well, that shit. I'm facing life in prison, prison off of the board. I thought Luton was bad, but Scotland, pretty sure. <laughs> You're right. Nah, man, we'll just get another William Wallace. Piff, puff, poof used to be a magic act. Oh, you can't say poof anymore, mate. I'll get his jail up here now. Uh, you're already on 14 years already and you're only speaking for five minutes. <laughs> uh, bring on the pushback. There we go, man. Yeah, right. Right, can you hear me, Gordon? I can hear you. Listen. Hold on, this is the... Buddy, I know, is abuse. I abuse him for at least 10 or 15 seconds. See, when I go into my local shop in the morning for my rolls, I fucking abuse everybody. I own, I, I own them all. I, the Pakistanis that own it, the lassies that work behind the counter, and guess what? Every one of them laugh like fuck. Well, that's the way it should be, I abuse them all. And I, I abuse them all on their personal shit. And they have a go at my personal shit. Gordon, I know Gordon, is Gordon, Gordon, shit. Gordon, Gordon, two seconds, right? Because they like I know the, the, the audio isn't working, but we'll get it working. Just keys two seconds. I just need to push a button, and then that should us that should sort it out. I can't see you. Can you not put a link up? Um. It doesn't mean it does see what I'm doing, it doesn't work that way. It's hard to explain, it's even harder to fucking do. Um it's just two different it doesn't work the way it used to work. Um may I that spell I can't work it the way it used to work. Right, what hold on, what am I looking for here? Not the microphone right oh, here. No, just... they done away with that. Uh, the Google Hangouts, no, I that's long gone, buddy. Um uh, right, hold on, that pressed the wrong button there, so maybe this will sort it out. Right, there we go, this. Right. Uh, say something, right? Right, wait there. Give me, give me two seconds, right? Because the audio is fine, mate. So if you want to speak, you can. People can hear you. Crystal, crystal clear now. Yeah, I'm trying to think out. Eh? I mate, people can hear you. No problem. Right, I'll go back to saying what I said originally. Then, my initial ten or fifteen minutes of greetings. We guys that I work with is fucking abuse. I abuse the shit out of them, and they abuse the shit out of me if they're good enough. And I laugh like fuck if they're good enough, right? It's all about humour. And 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 the thing is, if you are if you address people shit and they address your shit, then. You think less of your shit and you carry on your, with your day. You're stronger if somebody's addressed your shit with humour. Right? I don't have anybody in my life that doesn't laugh at my shit. And I don't give a fuck what nationality they are. If they're Pakistani, if they're African, if they're Indian, I don't, if they're uh, Ukrainian, they all laugh at my abuse in the morning. So, where does this go? Where does this turn? Is this when if we find out who's who? When you abuse some cunt and they're having a wee, a wee thumb-sucking morning and they go, oh, I'm reporting him. No, that's what they're opening up to me. They're opening up to abuse. No, 
they're open I you're right they're what they're doing is they're opening this enough that the 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 the, the wee plebs in your life that you didn't know they were wee plebs might go oh he offended me this morning I might no here's the thing see if you've made a good living in your life and you're suitable then that's different no see if you're somebody it's no goat fucking shit that's something else you see what i'm saying there uh, I know if you've got money, they can get took if you have no. If, if you've got money, they might just go, Oh, I think he offended me, so he <laughs> did. So if I'm driving my wee motor that I like to cut a button that nobody looks at me, then nobody's going to think twice. But if I drive my other motor, and it's parked outside the shop or outside wherever I'm in and they look out and they see the motor and they go, oh wait a minute, that fucker's got money, he offended me no uh, but Gordon, man, Gordon I agree with you 110% but like, why are we surprised buddy, we've been talking about this we, we've been no, this is this when stuff. we see human nature at its worst this is when we see. This is when we see it at, 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 at its fucking absolute worst. This is when we see the wee cunts that go, oh, oh, yeah, I think he hurt me, so he did. Oh. <laughs> no. it's, it's, it's going to get abused, mate, and like, uh, I don't know. I, like, I can't even see the, like, it's unpoliceable. That's why I'm calling for a hate campaign. Let, let, like, us with Braille. But see if everybody, like, think of Scotland, mate. We're all miserable Victor Mel Drew bastards. There's nothing better. See, we ask a Scottish person what the fucking weather's like, right? There would have been two minutes of fucking rain that day. The rest of it would have been 90 degrees. And we go, ah, it fucking rained the day for a bit. <laughs> you know, I know, miserable but that's cunts, the thing man. about Scotland. There's no such thing as bad weather. If you tell people it's bad weather, their life's fucked. There's, <laughs> there's no such thing as bad weather. There's only inappropriate clothing, right? <laughs> so people come out the house fucking pissed off. Fucking pissed off. They see the weather and they're fucking pissed off. Know what I mean? That's no can... for question. They're only allowed to be pissed off. They can't hate the weather. Any well, in fact, right, let's be honest. The law is not going to get applied that way. The cops came out and said J.K. Rowling is they go and get investigated. Uh, they, they are giving themselves new powers to deal with a new uh, landscape. Let's say with the social media shit and all that, which they genuinely need. You but know, they, think they're putting too much premise on J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling, J. K. what J.K. Rowling says, what J.K. Rowling says, what about we Gordy, what about we Gordy boy fucking says, <laughs> J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling. Now I've here been hearing J.K. Rowling, J.K. Rowling. Just as before that, I heard Michelle Moan, masks, Michelle Moan, PPE, Michelle Moan, PPE. I wondered who you were talking about there until you said the masks and I was like, right, oh, that big blonde fucking thing. They might make yeah. her and her man have obviously done the sex party rounds and got some heavy contacts in there, no, man. The Imagine the pimping her about the fucking... Right. Right, but they've picked on a skate... They've, they've uh, negotiated a thing with a scapegoat who can afford that J.K. Rowling. Oh, she I can afford she can afford to lose a billion and no fucking have any effects on her life. A billion. Is she a billionaire S or whatever it's called? No, she's worth four billion. Fucking hell, didn't I know I knew I knew it was a lot, I didn't even know how much. Four fucking billion. You couldn't spend a billion. She's got 
four billion, and that's only the four billion that we know about. Well, now, break, she's break, she she's the break. candle on the cake of this, and she can afford this. Don't ever forget that. She can afford to play this game. Now oh, she's she makes a lot of dough. Make well, she she has made a lot of dough. She probably continue to make more money than she can spend for the rest of her life. I'm sure, man. If she loses a billion on 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 consumer, she'll make another four billion on well, people loving her. Maybe maybe we should get old J.K. Rowling then to start this hate campaign against the hate laws then because like my idea is just to flood these motherfuckers, you know, like because as I was saying earlier on, mate, they can't police, they can't police robberies, they can't police. Uh, listen, listen, Craig, 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 I'm 62, I'm all in, I'm, I'm up in the ante, I'm doubling up, mate. Well, let's get the I'm Braille out, man, and start getting our fucking hate into Braille, so they can get us done. I, I'm all in, mate, mm. I'm shoving all my chips, I'm shoving all my chips beyond the gold band. Listen, <laughs> listen. I know this bunch of I know this bunch of boys. They're builders. They do they do a lot of work for me. They do a lot of work for me. I've been working with them for fucking years, right? They do work for me. They're builders. They're no joiners, tilers. They're they're, bur- they're builders. They do everything I need them to do, right? Now, I was working with this wee Pakistani boy that come out here for for uh, Lahore, right? Now this wee boy is a cabinet maker. I mean, this wee boy is intricate woodwork, right? And I went, well, wee man, I, I need to introduce you to some guys that's just going to fucking love you. And he was scared as fuck, right? And I went, no, no, no. I mean, these guys are monsters. I went, but these guys are going to fucking love you, right? No. He makes kitchens for them. He makes these, makes by hand from scratch, these beautiful kitchens. Now, if they pay him four grand for the kitchen, they charge a customer 18 grand for the kitchen. They love this boy. They fucking love him. Right? But see, when I meet him in the morning, I'm like, ah, you wee packy bastard. Have you got a wee Tupperware with your wee fucking curry in it? And he'll sit and laugh like fuck because he knows I love him. And he sits and laughs like fuck and I abuse him to fuck. And I'm like, ah, have you no froze to death in the cold and the rain yet, son? <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I fucking There's... get go and get water and I spray water on him and I go, have you no froze to death yet? But you know what? He's gone, I, I fucking love this. I fucking love you. I love them. I love... Right, but there's no such thing as abuse. There's only... Like, fucking... It's like a genuine... What's the word? I'm struggling here to... Fucking Ban- nail that. Yeah, banter is the easiest thing I would go to, man. Because it's and the banter is not a get out a free free jail card. Terms of endearment, mate. No, but it's it's intent, isn't it? Right, if you call somebody a cunt, like, like here, cunts are really good one, especially for fucking people in and around Glasgow. I'm a cunt. No, no, but what I mean is, right. You can walk into a situation, right, and like uh, nobody knows what's going on, and 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 somebody might go, at, "You're a fucking cunt," right, and you know what's happening. But on the other hand, go, "All right, you cunt, how you doing?" Do you know what I mean? It's like it's, it's the whole. Talk. But that's the whole thing. He's a good cunt. Well, He's a cunt. Here, He's a funny thing. cunt. Dogs. He's a miserable cunt. Dogs. <laughs> dogs don't understand. Dogs don't understand words. They understand body language, tone, and intent. And deep down, we're that get that same animalistic fucking sense, spidey sense, in a sense. As soon as you hear somebody say something to you, and I, like, because I, I think Scotland rules the world and we're the best people on the fucking planet. I don't know if it's... I can hear it in Scottish, Scottish people a lot more than elsewhere. But you can hear, like, you can see anything with different intent. You know, it's all about where it's coming from. Fuck you. Fuck you, Sonor Kitchen. Fuck you. Fuck you. You know, there's real different tones and, 
and and the body Listen, language on top. Listen, I say of that. fuck you. And t- I say fuck you. Let 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 affectionately he cunts. I walk into place and some young guy that I've abused for years. I'll, I'll say something. He'll go fuck you, and he'll start laughing. Mm-hmm. See right after he said fuck you, he, he's. He will have a wee laugh at himself, and I laugh as I'm walking past him. Do you know what I mean? And I go, "You look tired, you wee prick. We up shagging all night. You still staying in your mommy's house? You no get the balls to fucking get a flat yet?" And he does that. Fuck you. You still yeah. shagging your wee bird in your mommy's house? Fuck you, you wank. See exactly. <laughs> no, fuck you. Exactly. It's, so, it's, it's it's intent tone. Body language sprinkled on top, and uh, the argument is that that your intent is now getting left in the hands of somebody else's perception, right? Fuck so, you actually means I'm too tired to come up with shit to fucking retort to you, but I like you. <laughs> 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 I've not got a good bit of part. I, no get... I have no retort. I have no retort, sir. But I like you. Fuck you. It's kind of it's kinda like a dog turning on its back, showing you its belly and then pissing on your face. You know? oh, <laughs> I, fuck you. I fuck, fuck you. you. I, I know you're a gaffer, but fuck you. <laughs> uh, but aye, man. So, like, uh, and I'd wonder... If anybody else feels the same in the sense that a campaign of hate in the best possible way, and as I said, don't do a hate speech, do it by braille. <laughs> and that's a bit tongue in cheek, <coughs> but <coughs> I mean it in the sense of like, I'm no biting down, Craig. I'm no biting down. Me, I'm, I'm, no no sp- I'm no changing my speech. I'm no biting down for being me. I'm no doing it. I'm no doing it. I'm no doing it. And do you know what? You know what? You, the, the, you know the blood and snorters of this, right? See if some snivelling fuck... Right, right, here's what I need to tell you that you probably don't know, right? See, see if somebody reports you for doing something, right? You don't necessarily... Mr. Plod doesn't contact you, because I've had a wee word with a lawyer about this. Plod does not contact you, but there's a mark against your name. No, it's only people that need a disclosure Scotland or work for the government or apply for a job with a council that need to worry about this. Because what happens is, is see if you apply for a job, it could have been three years that somebody made a complaint about you. You're no, not necessarily going to get a chap at the door. And you can take what I'm saying to the bank. You're not going to get a chap at the door. But if you go to do something three years later, it might be even that you go to apply for benefit. You go to renew your benefit, right? And they go, oh, wait a minute, you've got a, a, a hate speech fucking notch against you. You don't get a, you don't get a chap at the door. It only gets registered man. against you. Because I've had to be worked <laughs> with a lawyer about this. Because I know who I am, and I had to speak to my brief to 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 to, to know what, where I stood. Because I abuse everybody, Craig. You know that, but I don't abuse them in a bad way. I abuse them in a, Gordon, as I said, in get, terms terms of endearment, right? I abuse you because I love you. It's going to get selectively. It's going to get selectively enforced, and that's what I hate about it. It's like basically so, giving. That's the, what I'm saying. Selectively enforced. Bang on, you hit. Not only did you hit the nail in the head, you put the nail right into the neighbor's house. Right, Selectively so, enforced. So the, the, there's there's it's, there's no it's not it's not black and white. You pay your TV license, and you don't. This shit's ambiguous. Can get argued in the court of law, but the police can selectively enforce it, which means. They're just bouncing around, mate, and you'll know what I'm talking about. Good guy, good guy, good guy, wank. Right, so if your face don't fit, if you don't... Uh, oh, what's the word I'm looking for here, by the way? Because this actually makes sense. Uh, your tra- if you don't submit, that's the word. If you don't submit to that, that they cops will, at that point of fucking arrest, they've got the ability to arrest you for fucking anything. Here you, you fat bastard. 
Do your fat actually, bastard. Like this you know law about? actually went through. See, England's having a laugh at Scotland. Ireland's having a laugh at Scotland. Wales is having a laugh at Scotland. So is every cunt else. But here's the thing. Do you know that law actually came into force in England three years ago? Same. I, I, I didn't know, but um, I, I, it doesn't surprise me. Ah, yes. But not with quite the same publicity. Uh, true enough. This is getting used not to Not with the quite ASAP. the same publicity. They've done it in Wales seven years ago, but not quite with the same publicity. They've done it in Ireland eight months ago, but not quite with the same publicity. Northern now, Ireland. They're finally Ireland. done. Ah, now when now they put three nails in, and then the last <laughs> nail is in Scotland, and they've publicised it. Now, if people in England, Ireland, and Wales go and look, they'll find out that they got it before us. So this is it being implemented, as my brief said. It's now being implemented. It's no been. This isn't a. This like fucking Scotland, 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 Scotland. No, no. England, Ireland, and Wales got this before us, but now it's being implemented north, south, east, and west. I need to check it out, mate. I never heard of that, man. Yeah, this you is, do this that. Me. Yeah, you do that. Oh, that, like, I'll, I need to find out more about the Scottish shit first, man. I've been fucking up these I wish, Listen, I'm actually, I'm, I'm actually sorry that this isn't a fucking private conversation and I'm briefing you in private here. Oh, well, I'm you briefing you in public, you. right? I'm briefing you in public, right? And I should, probably shouldn't have done this, right? But... It's already been implicated. Uh, 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 it's been done. Ireland, Wales, and England. It's already been done Maybe. on different cases. No, these these subtle, 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 subtle little fucking cases. Is it been and put it was already law? implemented. So it's been put into law. Or is it just been test cases and shit? That's like not that? done. No, it's done. No, it's done. It's done. No test case. Done. It's already in place. Scotland was the final coffin, and when they put the uh, final nail in the coffin, and when they put the final nail in, they went, right, let's publicise it to the max. Let's turn it up to 11. Well, you could see it has been an attack on the SNP. So no, Irish cunts it. are going, oh, look what's happened in Scotland. Wales, oh, look what's happened in Scotland. English, oh, look what's happened in Scotland. No, you've already got it. You've got it before we did. Well, it means that we're all in the same boat then, doesn't it, man? Yes. I should have breathed. I'm sorry. I should have breathed. I've been trying to get in touch with you. You're a wee non-phone lifting fuck. Every time I... You're a wee prick. Every time I try and fucking phone you, you're, either, you're always fucking shagging something or fucking drinking something. Uh, you're I mean, always I'm, otherwise engaged. It's cause it's, you're it's a lush. Late in the, it's you're a it's, fucking lush. Because it's Houston. always late at night. It's always late, it's always late at night. You're fucking sitting there full of the wine, man, and fucking wanting a jibber-jabber. And I'm fucking, like, hanging together wanting to watch some monk and go to my sleep. I know. I don't... But you're uh, a waster. You're what Gordon. Waster gets, nah, you're listen, Gordon. You're the I'm only doing. waster I know that gets up early in the morning and goes to bed early. <laughs> you're a contradiction to the I rule know, of waster. I know, I like... I, that's, 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 that's on my good cycle. No, you're a but, contradiction listen, to the rule. Do, do you know what I've started to watch, right? On, it'll be, I think it'll probably be Netflix. This might ring a, ring a bell with you, right? Because it's like... Uh, it's literally 20 year old right so when I'm watching it and they're like fucking they've no good smartphones and they're using videotapes but it was called Monk can you can you remember that and it was the, Aye, the weird Jewish guy aye man 
And he was fucking, he's like a wee fucking OCD fucking detective guy, man. Oh, man, he's fucking, do you know what, mate? It's like, I, I love something that makes the brain work. But see, sometimes you need something that just fucking puts your brain Do you know what I liked state. about Monk? You know what I liked about Monk? I'm dyslexic, right? Right. And I am about OCD. And I see the things that other people don't see. I'm always jaw Oh, Oh, you hate? Are you the Scottish monk? Is that what you're saying, mate? I'm going to no, take you to crime I'm scene, always, man. I'm always jaw dropped <laughs> when I'm, when when people I think that are super intelligent don't see what I just seen. No, the I guys know, I, I went to school that. with. No, the guys that I went to school with, they've got like the 140, 160 IQ, and I'll go, ah, oh, ho, 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 ho. And I'll point something out to them. And they go, oh, fuck, wait a minute. And I go, how? Oh, how the fuck did 160 IQ? How come you fuck never seen that? Ah, well, it's no? like you, you do get like the rain men that can't read the book. Do you know what I mean? That's me. Mm -hmm. I'm rain man. <laughs> I'm rain man. I'm rain yeah, man. Yeah, you're fucking Scottish man, so you're 90% rain man, April. Oh, I'm rain man. I get fucking rained on every day of the fucking week. <laughs> Comes with the territory. Do you know what? Man. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'll tell you a funny one today, right? My granddaughter, my youngest granddaughter's getting to an age where she's like, I don't need to change her nappies, right? So I'll take her out. So I can't, but I'm too old for the nappy changing shit, right? So I go and get her and I take her out with a dog. I've got a wee border collie and I take her oh, out with a dog. Oh, man, what's the dog called? She, she, she throws the, the, you know, the big ball with a claw and she, you know, the big stick with a ball in it and she oh, throws no. it for the dog, right? So, so, so. Her other granny on the other side is English. And she went, oh, no, 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 it's raining. Today and I went. <laughs> I've been in rain doing a bit. The grass is always fucking wet here, so Jesus fuck. The grass has only been wet to you for the past four years. The the grass has been wet to me for the past sixty two fucking years. <laughs> Get the way. There is only inappropriate clothing, as I said earlier. And me and with the way and a dog went out and we got muddy as fuck as expected. As expected, but we had a fucking laugh. If you tell people in Scotland that rain is going to fuck their life, everybody's life's fucked. <laughs> well, do you know what, man? Just keep it as a fucking get out of jail free card. Like, ah, it's raining the day. <laughs> hey, it's raining mean? every fucking day. Know, Seven man. seasons in one day. But here's the thing, Craig, right? No, seriously, I'm not going to get off the track. I'm no backing down. I'm no backing down. The, the more right, people now, that don't stop No, I'm going to tell you the truth, right? I'm going to tell you the truth here. I want you to listen, right? My lawyer set up another thing for me in case somebody tries to sue me. Because how I speak to people is how I speak to people. You know how I speak to people. Have you ever, have you ever, ever, ever came across me and I've no abused you initially? <laughs> have you ever came across me? Have you ever came Gordon, across me? stop talking about your sexual some... exploits, man. You've heard it here, folks, man. He's got a, he's got a pot of money set up and I'm going to sue him for fucking abusing me, right? That's him. No, what you, if you try to sue me, what you're going to get is two iron brew bottles and a couple of embassy curtains. That's what you're getting. <laughs> oh, do you remember embassy curtains? Wow, That's mate, what just, you're getting. Oh, well, wow, mate. Well, well oh, I'm wow. going to go on eBay and I'm going to find some embassy curtains. And mate. that's how I own. And I that's remember. what you're fucking getting. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, flashback, flashbacks for your fucking kids for the eighties. I remember that being like a good fucking kids day out. Like, yeah, count the coons, kids. Right. Your mum and dad's right. get cancer, but you can get a cheap no, listen, of fucking see plastic tap from Taiwan. See when I was doing this with my lawyer, honestly, 
the tears were rolling down his face. <laughs> Honestly, I had a real me and him had a fucking right laugh, and I was like, ah, "You set me up like that for that." And he's <laughs> laughing because as soon as I walked in, and I went like, ah, "Bob, like, how you doing?" <laughs> and he fucking lost that. You know what I mean? I don't give a fuck what letters are after his name. I went, Bob, like, how are you doing? <laughs> and he laughed you, and mate. I went, right, here's what I need to fucking present to you. <laughs> and I done the thing and he went, right, he went, I'm way ahead of you on this. I'm way ahead of you on this. He went, I've got, I know what you're saying. And he went, right, so, and it wasn't just me, Craig. Guess what? He said to me I was number nine. And Mate, I thought I was, I was the the... change insurance policies will it no? No, I There's thought I was the firebrand walking into his office. I thought I was the man. And he went, as the other people in front of you, Gordon. Mate, do, do you think I would be I'd be surprised if it didn't change employers' insurance? Because like, you know, no longer can fucking the boss call the employee a little prick <laughs> uh, or fucking have you ever uh, had a manager you've ever you've no called a wine well, to his face or behind his back or both, <laughs> both. Uh, 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 yeah, right. initially initially behind his back and then it, it ends up you say it to his fucking face Mate, yeah wait, fucking wank wait, you're fucking that... sitting in there You've not got a fucking clue what's going on out in there. Mate. You live in your own wee world, you fucking spunk bubble fuck. <laughs> right, you're living in a bubble, you're a fucking mutant, you fucking, you brought your boy in, your boy's a <laughs> fucking gay fuck, right? You brought the other one, she married, she married a guy 20 years older than her, you, and you never says anything about it. You're a fucking piece of shit. You have no control over your fucking family. And that was just me warming up. <laughs> well, mate, put it this way. I, I, like, you would have been ahead of the game with me, I would suppose. But I, I, I entered the workplace in the mid-90s, and the place would not... The, the workplace hasn't been pussified by that point. And I worked in all the shitholes, so there was, like, square goes at fucking on your dinner and all that shit, you know? Uh, and sometimes... I started a workplace in 1978, and in <laughs> 1978, some cunt could legally stab you and get away with it. Ah, I was, I was going to say that, man. There would have been a whole different ball game back there. Well, some some cunt could stab you. And the only thing it could do in a bit was your old man or one of your oldest brothers going, on, going in and going, if you stab him again, I'm going to chop we'll you up, you fuck. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't, I don't mean if you stab him. If you stab him again, I'm going to chop you up, you fuck. <laughs> well, there is a big difference. Stop, <laughs> stop stabbing my wee brother. <laughs> well, those days, and then, and, and then fucking... You know, but there's the young team listening to this and thinking, going, he's talking a lot of shit. Actually, see if you're young team, I'm no talking a lot of shit. I, I am not. Mate, my dad had a oh. shop in Cumberland Arcade for about 20 years, right? 20 year plus. And I a remember, butcher. Aye, and I remember being very young, right? And you know how like you hear everything but don't understand fuck all? But I remember at least four or five times, right? My dad coming home and talking about somebody falling through his his front window, and, and like you know how like and I would hear it, them talking to my mom and explaining what happened. That was the reality of it. There wasn't like a deep conspiracy or anything. It was just there was cunts so out of their scorn floating about that arcade. My dad's corner. My dad's shop was at this mad wee corner thing, man. I know. And, and they, they would literally walk into this plane of glass and it happened like four times in about 20 years just by fucking and it was like uh, this was in the 80s so this would have been pure when it was Smackville you know what I mean it was probably nicer when it was a leopard colony <laughs> see oh. sometimes I think it was better when they were all smackheads see when they all turned into crackheads that completely changed the fucking game you know what I mean 
Uh, well, at least you could, at least the crackhead was like the walking, uh, sorry, smackhead was like the walking dead. Uh, but, I see you could read, but, uh, but the uh, thing is, you could reason we are smackhead. Uh, you could reason we are hairy monkey, right? You can't listen. reason we are crackhead. The only way you can reason we are crackhead is you reasoning him we are hammer. No, oh, no, thrown out, thrown another rock in the other direction. But mate, here's the thing: uh, you, the the you canny, or in fact, I'm not a medical dude, but it's very hard to OD on crack, but very easy to OD on smack. Did you say you're no medical? No, I'm no. I'm I no thought a you were a brain surgeon. <laughs> hey man, look, I've got my whites on. Have, have, have you been deceiving us? <laughs> hey man. I thought you me. were a brain surgeon, mate. But fucking done this fucking shit in your spare mate. time. Oh, uh, you're not going. I'll, I'll crack you up. I thought pattern, you mate. were saving lives, man. I mate. heard you were good with a knife, I'm and like, I just um, assumed you were some kind of brain surgeon. No, like, listen, mate. I'm the opposite for P Diddy. You know, everybody P Diddy. You know, I'm rapping for fucking god knows how many fucking years and over a decade plus. plus Fucking rapping about being a pimp and all that. Pretty much putting pimp in his name, his rapper name for all these years. And then everybody wetting their knickers over the fact that he's not a pimp. He's an international sex trafficker now. <laughs> and you're like, what? Listen, I'm just, listen, I'm, I'm calmly watching that unfolding. Oh, I mean, I'm calmly watching them all being set up. Because, see, I'll tell you what, there was a lot more to and people never got. Remember Ricky Gervais started getting up at the fucking <laughs> kind of Oscar things hey. and taking them apart and saying, right, they're coming to get yous. There was a lot more to that, right? I always thought there was a, a lot more to English guys and Scottish guys being in with American accents and American films, and I went... What is this? I mean, California's full of actors. So why would you got all these pleb Scottish actors? Right? Why would you got all these pleb Scottish actors in these Hollywood films with American accents? And then, and, and, and I really did chew on that bone for a while, right? I was like, what's the angle here? Right? California... I mean, they don't call waiters waiters in California. They call them actors. They don't shout waiter. They go actor when they when they want their soup delivered, right? <laughs> so, 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 why would you have all these like pleb, pleb, pleb Scottish actors and pleb English actors with American accents, and then? When Ricky Gervais, Ricky fucking motherfucking Gervais, Ricky motherfucking Gervais, mm -hmm. to, to host the Oscars, and then he abuses them all and says that they're coming to get them, and they're all going away. And what the fuck was that? What well, the well, fuck was that? Like, like, on the surface, right, this is just on the surface, right? Uh, I didn't really get tuned in a, a, a lot yet. But on the surface, that's the American style, correct me if I'm wrong, in the sense they do that roasting shit, where, like, you know, it's kind of par for the course for like, them to tear... Uh... I know, I get the roasting shit, but there's plenty of funny Americans that could have roasted the holy fuck out them. But th th there's this plenty of Americans that could have roasted them red raw. Well, let's like, let's explore a couple of the possibilities, man. Did he uh, go up there and use I his go own for script? it. I'm listening. Well, did he go up there and use uh, his uh, a script that wasn't uh, preordained and <laughs> just fucking say what he wanted to say? Were they going for the controversial? Because that mate, those kind of no, things. No, that's are me right. you're talking about. I shoot for the hip. No, you no, can't but... tell. No, 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 no. I shoot for the hip. You shoot for the hip. Ricky Gervais didn't go up there shooting oh, for the hip. That's not what I'm he suggesting. was up there with a script. Ah, he he said that the, the only script. thing he wasn't allowed to say was Jodie Foster's beaver. Have they not seen Jodie Foster's beaver? Mate, but what I'm saying is. 
like the Oscars would have went, right, Ricky, we need to see your script, let's see it. And he's like, ah, right, here's the rough thing what I'm going to do. And then when he went up there, he used, no that script, he used a different script, or he just deviated or fucking free, what would you call it, improvised away for that, for that script. Because <clears throat> if you listen to the mate, if you listen to, either he's 100% legit and he's been watching Hunters at Alex Jones and that he's just falling down that rabbit hole, which is perfectly feasible, by the way, because it can happen to the, I would, I would argue it can happen to the biggest and brightest of us in the sense that they fall for that. I tell you, truth that I've been shit. watching, I've been watching in the background, and I know you're not going to believe me, but this is true. I've been watching in the background Ricky Gervais for 35 years. Where did he first pop up? For me, it was the on, t- on top of the pops with a song 35 years ago. Well, Have well, a wee look. Check that out. Ricky Gervais has been in and about it for fucking three and a half decades. And talking about pussy whipped, right? Never mind inviting Big McVicker, because he's pussy whipped to fuck, by the way. He's no coming anywhere. Oh, he's getting his slippers on, mate, and he's no, no, that bo- no, that baldy whip, that baldy pussy whipped fuck's having sex somewhere. He's not having sex in a care telephone box somewhere. Never mind inviting him, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, we should see if he was about, man. He's chasing some fucking bird about in a bus station somewhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> He's not right in the heat. Oh, come on, as long as we're all having fun. But he, mate, oh, like, he's having fun, all right. But the chances of him getting 30 years very high. What do you think happened with Ricky Gervais and that shit? Do he was just like a loose cannon? or a No, I think, it was, uh, I think it was all set up. All set up, all set up, all set up. I've been watching. I, I, I go. I, I can I smell a rat after Ricky Gervais oh, thirty-five years ago. Me, and I mean, right, he's a wee st- st- no, he's an establishment oh, fuck. Oh, you know what I've always told people. You know what I've always told people. Yeah, Everybody that's that ever been, been on Top Gear, see oh, the God. Jeremy, see the Jeremy Clarkson Top Gear years. Everybody that was ever on Top Gear was one of their bitches, was one of the establishment bitches. You didn't go on to Top Gear. Only an establishment bitch. You go on to Top Gear to do the hot lap if you were willing to be an establishment bitch or already were an establishment bitch. Now, I want you to look at all, anybody that's listening to this, go back and look at everybody that was on the early years of Top Gear as a, as a, as a what, did, what did they call it? A, 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 a celebrity star in a reasonably priced car. Something close to that, right? And every remember. one of them, all the decades, turned out to be an establishment bit. You only got to be on Top Gear if you were an establishment bitch. It's like, I'll tell you what you want. Ewan McGregor. Ewan McGregor, right? And you think Ewan McGregor just appeared to be Scottish boy on Tiger? No. His daddy is eighth generation old Scottish royalty. Ewan McGregor's big brother was the first jet pilot to go in and bomb Afghanistan with a fucking Harrier on Desert Storm with Saddam Hussein. Ewan McGregor, McGregor, who went to the same school as Prince Charles. Or Ewan McGregor. Or we Ewan McGregor. He was on top. He was on... He was on Tiger. No... Ewan McGregor was born an establishment bitch. He was a wee dyslexic fuck. And see if you're dyslexic, see if you come from aristocracy, you go to Gordonston Academy in Scotland. Whereabouts is that? And right? everybody, everybody, everybody that comes out of Gordonston Academy 
gets a good job or marries well, everybody Seems like that comes out of Gordonston Academy is gets you you listen, listen. You, your parents don't get you into Gordon's, Gordonston Academy if you know it's dyslexic wins they take in. Right, hold on, right. Right, hold on a sec, Gordon. Is that code for your bedroom, mate? No, I don't know where you're going there. No, you've you seen Gordonston Academy. Your name's Gordon. No, it's just a coincidence. Oh, that's bring just it a on, coincidence. bring it on. Bring it on. It's just a coincidence, you wee specky fanny. <laughs> <laughs> and don't you sue me, because I think you're a fanny. Oh, right here, that's fucking hate speech against vaginas. <laughs> vaginas no, no, ah. that, no, I'm being, no, I'm being personal as fuck. That's hate speech against you. No, but you, vaginas will hate being compared to me. So all vaginas in the world will be like, oh, fuck, I'm the well, like, fuck's I can't. Here you, here you could have something there, by the way. <laughs> you know. What, what, what decent fanny would want to be compared to you? Exactly. Don't call me a Craig Houston. <laughs> I'm a fanny, not a Craig Houston. <laughs> listen, by the way, listen, by the way, see your namesake. Do you know there's another guy called Craig Houston? Absolutely <laughs> ripping it up at the moment. Uh, well, uh, Alan shared me a video the other day, man. Like, you look at this guy's got the same name as you. And then Listen, the guy's was... nailing it, Craig. Listen, the guy's nailing it. The guy's he's, saying really good. He's an old boy, isn't he, man? More, more power to him, man. He's an old boy? No, he's a young pop compared to me. I think he's in his 40s. No, man. Fuck me. Oh, he's in his man. 40s. No, that's I me. I just think he, I think he had a hard paper round. <laughs> He, he, he worked too long under the under the, I had the an early, No, he had an early mock run. You know what I mean? <laughs> he, was, he worked under the... He was up the chimneys too much. <laughs> uh, no, he I've is nailing it, it, Craig. He is um, nailing it. And, okay. I, and I do think you should hit the guy up just for a fucking laugh. Just for a laugh. Because I think if you key the guy... Your angles, the guy, no, the guy's nailing it, Craig. He's no a lightweight. The guy's really nailing it. The guy's really nailing it. He was at the Scottish Parliament the other day and he done a speech and he fucking, the guy's very eloquent. He's eloquent as fuck. He can, he can put his words together. You know what I mean? No, no. What you do is a different thing. You shoot for the hip. No, you shoot for the hip. He's right, really and I've always said, together. I've always said my whole life, the guys that shoot for the hip are the guys you don't tell to go and take a fuck to themselves. See the guys that stand up with a speech, you can always, you can always fucking question them on your angle, because they really can't come back at you. So he's one of them. I think he rehearses his shit, but he's very mm -hmm. eloquent with his shit, right? But you and him are different animals. Right, you and, you and him are different animals. Even, all right. just, even just the gimmick, Craig Houston to Craig Houston. You know what I mean? So he, uh, No, l listen, he's a zoo badger, right? He's a badger that gets fed every day and he gets bed made up for him, right? You're no a zoo badger, right? You, you're a kind of fucking street badger. You're one of the badgers you see running across the motorway at two o'clock in the morning, man. I know get what I mean? over. He's, he's over. A, no, he's a different animal, right? This but I'm not this. saying the guy's no an animal, right? I'm not. I, I see. See, I never questioned you because because you're a street badger, right? <laughs> but but I'm being careful with him because he's a zoo badger. No. Because he's Where's a pet and so badger. Where's I'm being background? careful with him. You know, you know these cunts come out the woodwork, Craig. You know these cunts come out the woodwork. Where's and he's come out the work. He's very timely, the way he come out the woodwork. He's very timely and he's very eloquent, you know. So so I'll reserve judgment for the meantime. Worth a, worth a, worth a gander anyway. Worth a gander. Gonna do that, pal. Gonna do that. And it would be funny just to hit the guy up because you can't tell me the guy doesn't know who you are. No? Probably, probably no, man. I've never heard from him before, I don't think. 
Not that I can remember. I know. Who the fuck knows about you, you prick? You know what I mean? Even, like, Kip's Clips, right? See, back in the day when Google had a good algo, you put in Kip's Clips and Kip's Clips would come up. See, so you know, I'm buried under fucking co- college courses and everything. I know, but Mace Constant can was conceived in prison, or? <laughs> oh, mate, I get knocked back from my fucking monetization again, man. It's no going to happen on the boob tubes. And it's a shame because it gives you so much... Well, I don't know. It's a, sh- it's a shame for me because it gives you so much fucking... Spotting on. Do you know what I mean? It feels like you're not just like pissing into the wind. Otherwise, it's just, it just could be a bit fun, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's funny you should say that. I I pushed into the wind two year two 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 years ago. I pushed into the wind two weeks ago. It's just as well I was wearing waterproof high high vis fucking trousers, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was a windy night, man. I went fuck's sake, man. And I had a slash and a fucking oh fuck, fuck. The boys were like, "What the fuck happened to you?" And I went, "Shut." <laughs> <laughs> Well, at least it was the yeah, face, that, mate. If one of the boys has a go at me, does that mean I can sue one of them? Well, it's, it's, it, well, it's up to the people. It's up to the... Oh, that's what I was going to say, right? The arbiters See, I'm 62. Of See, I'm 62. If one of them goes like that, hear you, you know, bastard. That means I can nail their face yep. to a door. Me. And don't anybody out there think that your face can't be nailed to a door. When I it- can <laughs> fucking... <laughs> ah, yeah. are big enough. <laughs> Mate, I hear that's one of the things I heard on uh, one of the mainstream medias when they were saying, right, so, uh, and they're talking about ageism, sexism, and all the shit that they usually talk about. And one of them is age, ah, ageism, sorry, I'd already said it. And I'm like, what? Um, hello, Chris, sorry, me, I'm only fucking. I'm on this WhatsApp menu. Do you remember one time about four years ago you called me an old bastard? Or did you call me an old man? You called, remember me and you were, uh, you were drunk and I was drunk. And you said to me, you said something to me and I said something to you and you said something to me and I said something to you. And then you said to me, all you had, all you had with your specky prick was old man. Oh, well I could sue you for that. I could I'm... have your fucking computer for that, you bastard. <laughs> I, but then Where's you go? Need... I, tell, but then... I tell my brief, I go, he's got a computer. All no. right, we'll have that then. But then, you you would, then you would need to admit that I ripped your tights. And I don't see... <laughs> any... <laughs> then I don't see the kind of man admitting that I'd ripped your tights. So no, I'm, but I'm then I'll go to my right. other lawyer and he'll get somebody <laughs> to rip you for your ear hole with your arsehole. How does that sound? <laughs> Well, as long as it's not my tights. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I think somebody earlier on in the chat said that listening to us through the night, they at least broke the law about 25 times or something. Um, See, the thing is, I'll let you away with your tights in the winter. <laughs> and your tights in the winter, I'll excuse this thermal, thermal underwear. Right? <laughs> I'll, 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 I'll go, right, the boy's living in Scotland, he's wearing tights, okay, but we'll, 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 we'll pass him as thermal underwear, right, but that's me being kind to you, that's me being kind to you, because you're a small child. I want the novelty will, willy warmers that my dad had when, as a, a present when he was younger, man, it was a pair of tights, but I had a space for your dick. Wally warmers. That's like the fuckers that stick a pair of socks down the front of their trousers, man. You know what I mean? That's a different, that's a different conversation we're talking about there, son. We'll go back to uh, PP masks or whatever with that conversation. Hey, mate, she's a big looker, her, isn't she? Who? The mask lady. The, 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 we were talking about Moan. earlier on. I, I, can, I can never remember her name. I just remember and so what the fuck is she moaning about? Well, I want to hear. I want to think about her moaning quite a lot, man. Imagine. Do you know the thing about it? As usual, she'll get away with it. Sorry, did you go away with it? Just another fucking. Aye, as you, as usual, she'll oh, get no, away no. with it. No, no, Gordon, hold on a sec. What they'll be is there'll be an inquiry, 
And then there'll be fucking millions of pounds. Even though we're already being scammed out, the taxpayers already been scammed out of millions of pounds. There'll be millions of pounds. Flung no, millions. Entirely. no millions. No millions. 80 million. 90 million. Right. And then, because of X, Y, or Z, the inquiry will take five, six, seven, maybe eight years. By that time, they're fucking either beat or in the Bahamas or grown a clone. Aye. Is the, is the line that you always want your brief to tell you? The PF says no case to be answered. Admonished. That's a good gene. No case to be answered. No, 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 no. Your brief tells you no case to be answered. Oh, right, but, you still, but you still need to go up in front of the sheriff and the sheriff says no case to be answered. There's a pecking order. There's a pecking order of how that gets put down to you. Your brief says no case to be answered. And then you go up and you've still got to go up in front of the sheriff. And he says, and he'll say to you, admonished. It's got to be, the T's have got to be crossed in the fucking, the, as, you know, the, what's that, what do you call that? The, the dotted dot, and dot, dot in the cross, eyes and cross. You know? dot, dot, dot in the I's and crossing the T's. That's what it is, you dot in the I's and crossing the T's. Hear you know, me, and how, how the fuck, I'm that, proud of myself knowing that, by the way. I'm well proud of myself knowing that shit. Can't tell you the alphabet, but I didn't do that. Gordon, do you have I Skype? I, I, I listen, I had that conversation. My, my wife said to me something the other day, and I blew up like a mad fuck because we were talking about we're going on holiday, right? And she was trying to tell me the months before it, and I was, I was like, I, I'm dyslexic, Craig, right? And I blew up like a mad psycho fuck. And I went, I still can't tell you the fucking alphabet, never mind tell you what fucking, fucking <laughs> months, months, fucking go after months. Fuck's sake, man. People think I'm kidding when I do that, Craig. People don't understand. No, people go, oh, I dyslexic, I, 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 oh, my. And they don't get it. Craig, Craig, being like that has never stopped me from making money. Mate, that's Because uh, uh, everybody focuses, puts their, uh, their, their good shit to the best of uses, do you know what I mean? Uh, I mean, but... you call me Rain Man. You you said earlier <laughs> on Rain Rain Man, right? And I'll tell you, and this is the truth, right? So at school, I couldn't count, right? So when I was 17, I had three ice cream vans. I had two in Postal and one in Sight Hall, right? And I could work in an ice cream van. And I could count like a motherfucker. I could deduct, some way would come up with fucking 27 <laughs> fucking empty bottles. And I could, dis, did, I could deduct these 27 empty bottles. Gordon, you must, have done, you must have and done I'd, singles. And, but, I would sit, but I would sit later on at night and sit and think about it. I was only 17, right? Did you sell, did you sell was, singles back in the day, man? You must have been back in, in and around the days of the singles. Of course Bags. I would. Aye, man. I, remember, I remember fucking... Fuck's sake, I'd sell you a half tune that bought me an ice cream cone. Oh, mate, I remember fucking having a girlfriend on, the, on one of the... the, the How uh, the fuck do you there. think you made money? <laughs> and you would go up with fucking, like, your two pence, and you'd get, like, 50 quid worth of sweeties, man. And then you would take them back to hers, and then after she finished her shift, she'd be fucking battered at you. Oh, man. Ah, the good do, you know what makes, do you know what makes me laugh, Craig? See back then, see like 1980, 1979, you get six months for a half queue. See if a polo stopped you and you had a half queue, a hash on you, you get six months, right? And then four <laughs> decades later, a cop takes a, a half queue off you and sticks it in their pocket. Know what I mean? Yeah. You get six months, mate, if you caught with a half Q, a half Q, a hash. Six months? No, I know, mate. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm trying to... There's a guy, Chris, he, uh, he's wanting to join. Do you still I have mates that done six months, that lost their jobs, and they were like, 
You know, yeah. electricians, let's, heating let's, engineers, let's, they were like let's, fucking let's, motor mechanics with big companies, well, and they would lose their job Gordon, because Gordon, they'd done a conviction for cannabis possession. Gordon, listen to what Germany's just done, right? They've just uh, legalised it. You can, uh, you're allowed to walk about with 25 gram, which I feel find weird instead of just rattling up to rounds. Uh, and you're allowed to grow three <laughs> plants. <laughs> That's a boy hair off an ounce. That's what I'm saying. Why the fuck do 25 and not the 28? I don't get where that's coming from. You uh, can have some 20 a hard downs and knock them out. <laughs> uh, Gordon, there's a guy Chris want to join, right? Um, do you still have what? Do you still have Skype? I but no on this device, mate. Right. Well, let me see if I can get him in the WhatsApp. He's gave me a number. I'm I can't even see you, Craig. What the fuck's going on? Uh, right. Let me see if I can do something about this. Ah, oh, come on, do I, something about it, you no, IT no, fucker. No, no, because I, I'm fucking, if I don't Skype, then fucking I don't know if he's got my Skype number, and I can't be asked fucking people, no, my Skype number, my WhatsApp number. You know, see, right, sometimes okay. you might, I can you know see I mean? my cell phone, a wee postage stamp here thing, right? But you're just like, mate, it's, it's just. My, it's my vanity, mate, you know what it is? It's my vanity, because I wanted to. Because well, you're me, so handsome. No, oh, I can see you now. No, no, but no, no, but no, I'm you're a wee boy. You're a wee Ukrainian no, flag a wee, fuck. No, I'm oh, a wee you're boy. You're a Ukrainian flag fuck. This is my gym gear. Look at you. Me, what I went to the Ukrainian flag fuck. I went to the gym with day and forgot. In fact, I, I lied. I did take a t shirt with me when I took it out. I realised it was a dirty one. Do you know what? A couple of weeks that. ago, I was going to deal this. with a neighbour of mine that's got a, na- a Ukrainian flag up, right? And I was going to deal with him. And I was actually on my way to dealing with him. And I was marching, marching towards the guy like a sergeant major. I mean, I was going up there to do the cunt, right? Because I'd had enough, and the guy that uh, really funny. See, all my do- my my, my neighbours are all doctors and lawyers and surveyors, right? And I was marching up to do this cunt like a fucking sergeant major. I just had enough. I'd cracked, right? And I was fucking marching up the hill, and the guy that grabbed me and fuck with my collar and pulled me back down the hill. He's a doctor. He's a GP. But he's a fucking good lad. He's a fucking good lad. And he was like, Gordon, 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 let it go. Let it go. Let Gordon, let it go. I'm, I'm waving at myself, mate, to try and... I don't know, something... I feel better now that I can see you. Know that you're fucking handsome. Gordon, if I hang up on you, mate, I'll phone you straight back. And he just... Turn when you hang up, me, you'll be funny. I need to fucking turn it off and on again. I don't know if that's going to hang it off on you, man. Basically. Don't you hang up, me. Oh, fuck, I can't even turn it off and on again. It's Do you mean crazy. people have been seeing me all this time and I didn't know? Uh, I thought you knew, man. <laughs> Shit. On the, on the YouTubes, people have been able to see you, man. Uh, I don't know if I've cancelled that or whatnot. I don't know why the fuck that off fucking goes up. What the fuck is that? I can hear that one. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Right. Oh, fuck. Right, I'm trying to think. Do you know, I could make it an absolute pure mashup. The audio would be push. Right, you know what I'm going to do, Chris? I'm going to try and add you in. The audio is going to be absolute shite, but if we can make it work, we can make it work. Why not fucking live and learn, eh? Right, so I'm going to have to try this. I thought that would happen, mate. I had to turn it off and on again. Get it working. Uh, but, but it's still good. It's I'm still go- good. I'm going to try something. Where's the guy you were bringing on? Well... It's technically fucked up, right? But we should might be able to hear everybody. Um, let me just... Do you know what I've always wanted to say? Well, for the past few months, see all your artwork here on the wall? That's yeah. so aesthetically pleasing to the eye. I've done right. a good job, didn't are I? You, 
Are you gay, you fucking fanny? No, because I start walking into a gay man's house. Mate, it's that's not... so aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Uh, so Listen, it's symmetrical. Do you know your sword's illegal now? Do you know your sword? Do you know your sword was illegal? Do you know your sword was illegal four months ago? Don't tell. Don't tell the cops. That's hate crime. He's hating on me, man. Like, uh, share audio. Like, hold on, I don't even know what I'm doing now. Um, I just don't care Listen, cops. I've got an old Tikana. Right? It's like fucking... It's, uh, it's fucking 900 years old, right? A proper... Well, right? I've heard it is. That seems like a proper one. So, no, no, no. This is a motherfucker. Right? So, I took it in exchange for a debt. A guy owed me shit for <laughs> shit. And I went... <laughs> And it was sitting top of the fucking the, the cabinet in the house, right? And I, I fucking looked at it, right? And I went, what's that worth? And he went, no far off at all, are you? And I just lifted it and walked out the front door, right? But when my boy seen it, my bo- he was like, oh, da, oh, da. I was such a clown. I went, oh, fuck, that's a real one, isn't it? And I went, apparently so. <laughs> well, mate, is it how much is it worth? Fucking thousands or something? It's worth about eight thousand. Like, right. it's a nice Gordon. It's, Mac- no, it's no, it's most beautiful about it. It's handle. See the leather bound handle. The way the the way the, the way the leathers the strap the these strands of leather are bound through the handle, right? And the handles mother of pearl. It's going to be mother of pearl inlays. Because I go to a guy to look at it, and the guy went, that's quite, quite beautiful, mate. He went, that's just... He went, you really don't want people to touch that handle. And I went, so what should I do with it? He went, put it in a glass case. So it just so happens where I live, there's a there's a framers down the road, right? And I go to, you know, <laughs> football player Michael Scholes? Hi. Right, so I got my son-in-law, my daughter's man, he, he had a Michael Scholes thing going, right, so for his birthday, his 35th birthday, I got him a Michael Scholes sign top, and I've actually got the video with the fucking him's Michael Scholes sign in it, right, so I asked the guy to frame it, and the guy framed it like a fucking boss, right, so I went back into him with the Takana, and I said to him, can you? And he went, oh, yes, I can. Right? And he done this whole thing. He impressed it into a thing. And then he covered the thing with velvet. You know, the deep impression. He put impressed it into this thing. And then he covered it with velvet. And then he, he, he vacuum sealed on it. So, so my can is fucking beautiful. But it's in my wee room at the back of the house. My wee private room that they can't see <laughs> my, wee, my wee room, my wee room. Well, the, my re- wee room. the reason I asked That's you, my stuff. My stuff in it. mate, I don't know if you can ever remember this story, right? It was notorious at the time. Couple wee pr- a, 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 a guy faced Scumbernold, right? He right. was one of those guys that. What's it called? Scumbernold. <laughs> and uh, people in England don't get that one. I know, man. I want a penny. But, um, long and short, it right, him and his mate, they were notorious assholes, right, and, like, they, they were fighting at this boozer, I think it was the woodpecker or some shit, and they went and got a fucking, you know, those katanas you're talking about, you remember when they started yeah. blowing up all the cheap ones, all the cheap catty motherfuckers that were fucking, anyway, so yeah. he's went and lifted one of them, man. <laughs> Went went to the fucking went went up to this boozer mate, right? And I swear to god it's like something out of Quentin Tarantino video. So him and his mate are standing side by side and then go he start to go to head with the people that are running out the boozer. So he goes like that and fucking takes the katana out of his sheath. The blade comes away for the handle, goes in his mate's fucking eyeball. Right in his eyeball, man, you couldn't have fucking put it any better. And did <laughs> don't like that, man. And, eh, uh, I rotten for the rest. See, you're saying, I'll tell you a story, and this is fucking true. See, 30, a year ago, a guy gave me what I thought was a katana, right? And I swung it, and the blade disconnected for the handle. <laughs> I 
not hear me out in a room full of guys. And this thing, this blade, went through five guys. It missed them. And hit the fucking wall. And I, I hit the wall. And the five guys realised, in that line, realised that I had missed them. And I turned round with a horn and I fucked him right in the jaw with it and took a few <laughs> of his teeth out. You know? He didn't expect me. He gave me that and he didn't expect me to swing it. Gordon, just to say, Chris is in the room. I don't know how this is going to work audio-wise and all that. Well, right? I say, is he one of the pictures on your gay wall? I he's the middle lion. Uh, but, um, let's see, I'm pretty... Chris, can you hear Gordon? Oh, fuck, he can't hear you. Oh, man, right. This is a... Technically, this is a head fuck, so it's not going to work, guys. Man. I can hear him as if he's on top of Mount Everest. <laughs> he sound... Sorry? Uh, me and Gordon are speaking on WhatsApp and me and you on Skype. That's the whole head fuck behind it. Well, I will get that sorted, man. I'll, I'll get Can you not get him on the same fucking platform as you? Well, uh, me and you are on WhatsApp. WhatsApp involves a phone number. And my arsehole... And he's not wanting to give up his phone number. No, I don't, mate. I, I've, through experience, man, you don't dish your fucking phone number out to... It's mental, man. It's not worth the fucking... That's why I've got six phones. <laughs> I love no go to burner for my YouTube fucking escapade shit. I'll need to get one. You know, maybe that will put that on my things to do list, man, and get we can get every cunt on the same page. Oh, that's a fucking shame. Craig, you can't get the guy in. I nah, mean, I'm paranoid. Like, I, I, listen, do you know what I really do? Drugs, Chris, and shit, right? But then you're left with it. Paranoid about other people's shit. Right. What what do mean, be I, I know, right? So, what, what, what happens when you're sitting there fucking chilling? I oh, could be a big hard don dick in your hand, man. Fucking bar of chocolate in your mouth, and all you do is. <laughs> Like, fucking hell, man, you're well, like, mate, worse than fucking woman, man. Do you know what I mean? It's like... The no, no, I'm sorry, mate. They're <laughs> the phones I'll leave in the barn. Mate, I will go to a barn. They're the phones I'll leave out there in fucking Amcan for you. <laughs> I've, got, I've got a tinfoil hat, that's it, man. See, see uh, the phone I'm talking to you on the note. That's the reason I don't catch your shit. Because I only check this phone once every fucking 10 days. Name. Yeah. Right, I wrap it in tinfoil and it's out in the barn, it's at the back of the barn. Hey, I don't know what's. Oh, fuck. Gordon, have you got any way of getting on Skype? Because there's Denny Dish wanting. Denny Dish. Because he's a dish. Listen. Wanting. I have. I have. Right, but I've done a half a bottle of whiskey, three bottles of beer. And a bottle and a half of red wine. Oh, you're right? doing all right, So man. I'm not going to get the laptop. Right, what well, I'm, I'm going, going to do... It's not a laptop, it's a tablet I'm that I've got Skype on. I'll get... Uh, do you know what I'll do? Because guess what? It's something a bomb wrapped in tin <laughs> Right, well, what I'll do is I'll, need, I'll, I'll only take us a couple of days. I'll sort out a burner and I can fucking... A burner, I've always wanted to say that. When I say a burner, I'll get another SIM card and stick it in my fucking spare mobile phone. Craig, 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 listen, I like a be silver chain, by the way. I'm, 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 go I'm, I'm going away for gold, back to silver. Keeps your vampires right, away, I'm mate. I'm going away for gold, and I'm going back to silver. Right. Got a wee bit of gold, Aye. man. Aye. I'm going away, listen, I'm going away for gold and back to silver, right. It's no about showing your money. It's about wearing jewellery well. No, it's about wearing your shit well. And the thing is, silver's really good for you touching your skin. Right? And I've got some... I, I, listen, I've got a 29-inch gold chain and I wrap it round my chain, my neck six times. Don't do it, Gordon! 
and it's not, and it's I'm getting back into my silver. I've all listen. I've always had a greater love for silver than gold. No, I've always had. A, I I just always have had a, a greater love. I've always wore gold. I like a I've bit of both. I've always had a greater love. But I I get it, pal. The only thing that's gold on me is my wedding ring. See my wedding ring. Ah, well, that needs to be that bastard. That that needs. That's a nine. Uh... That, that's that's a nine gram fucker. That's a nice. I've always had a, but look, but look on my pinky. I wear a silver with a wee diamond. Put it, put it down a wee bit. I can't see that. Can see your watch, but no the pinky. No, that's my bracelet. Well, I show it. No, no, yeah, back a wee. All right, can right, see it now. Right, can see it now. Right. So that that's a solid. Right. Is that a solid band? No, it's got a band with a, a diamond in. Diamond, right? But see, but I need, but I need to be honest, right? See, how we were talking about the Masonic thing, right? That's a club ring. With your that with your pinky one. Aye, your right hand. Your right hand with a small diamond on your pinky. That's a club ring. That's a, that's, I've got another eight guys wear their rings. Right. There's nine years wear them. And we wear them for a reason. And it's our And reason. you're saying my fucking, you're saying my back fucking drops gay, you cunt. <laughs> aye. 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 It was a thing that happened one night and one of the boys said something. And I went, Oh, that's a fucking good one. But there was 15 years when it happened, so there's only fucking, there's only me and another eight of them left. <laughs> We're all getting old, mate. We're all going away. You know what I mean? We all survived. We were survivors. That was what it was about. Being survivors, surviving the madness. And you know the madness I'm talking about. No? We, we, we survived the madness. Well, mate, you're and doing... There's a lot of them. There's a, I, fuck, a lot of them I've not seen for five, six years. But it was a, sing, a thing we done 15 years ago. With the right hand, with the small pinky, the small silver band, with a, a small diamond. I've always been a lover of silver. I just love silver. I've got a cabinet there. I've got a cabinet there and I like silver. No, I can, no, I like to collect silver snuff boxes. I've not got any, but I can see the fucking... Right, I like Jacobean wine goblets and silver snuff boxes. No, I like Jacobean... I like, like, 17, 16, 1700 fucking wine goblets. Mate, see when, oh. I, see when I hear that, right? Because I could get down with that, man. Right, but there, there would be definitely one time that I'd be like, ah, right, I need to get that snuff box filled with sniff, and I need to get that goblet filled with red wine. You know, I wouldn't even be to keep them in the they cabinet. Are. I don't no. want to show to my cabinet with my bottles of whiskey and yeah, shit. Man. You know what I mean? I, I can't open me, but I can't open me bottles of whiskey. I can't open them, man. They're priceless. Oh, They're wow. priceless. I can't open them. Me, me. I could open them and drink one, and that's it done, and I would enjoy it. But I like looking in, and I've got wee LED lights on the bastard. <laughs> why, no, why, no, why not, man? Why not, man? Why not, man? No, your stuff. No, your stuff that means shit to you. No. Exactly. And, uh, Listen, I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something, I'll tell you something. See, when I was young, I had mates that were, I had pals that came for money, right? And I'd gone to their parents and their grandparents' house, and they'd stuff, have stuff in cabinets that meant stuff to them in their era, right? They would have stuff in these cabinets that meant stuff to them in their era, right? Well, I've got stuff in my cabinets that means stuff to me, means things to me in my era. Everybody's personal taste, your own stuff, no? Your own stuff. I like, I, 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 look, I was telling Big McFicker, I'll tell you what happened, right? Aloha. Aloha. Listen to me, right? Aloha. So, the Aloha Glassworks, 
established 400 years ago, right? So the deal was the old Scottish alliance between the Scottish and the French. The Scottish made <laughs> glass, glass, <laughs> lady, crystal, green <laughs> goblets, wine goblets, and they would send them to France. And the French, the French would send us back claret, right? So what happened what do you was you mean claret? The drink? I. I red wine. Right, right, aye, right. right. I was just wondering. So, so, so Scotland made the glasses, made the goblets, right? Aloha made the goblets, right? And the French made the red wine. So what happened was a big pally mines bought the bottom basin where the ships used to come in on the river forth on Aloha, right? Now, it had all been landfilled, right? Now, the bottom basin was the ships would come in and they would shut the doors like a lock, lock doors. So the, so the tide would go on the river forth. <coughs> the ships would off that in the basin, right? And float, right? So it was a typical port. A port was a really good place to get yourself killed, okay? Because it'll fall full of fucking gnarly sailors and dodgy fucking bars and inns, right? So what happened was, <clears throat> my big mate bought it, and it all had to be piled before they could build houses, right? So when it got nearer, nearer the edge where the road was. They had to establish where the original harbour wall was, right? Now listen to us, this is good. So they had to establish when it come back to stop piling the big piles, bang, 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 to build a house on, right? So they go back <laughs> and they had, within 20 or 30 feet, they would break the harbour walls here, so I had to be all excavated, so I was curious as fuck when they told me, right? So I went down, and they're excavating it, and they're putting the big steel sheets on the sides to stop it from caving in, and they're going down and down and down, and then they identified, right, so they got down and they identified the harbour har har wall, right? Right. They went, right, there it is there, right? So then they went down and down and down and down to see where the rock was, to see where the bedrock was, right? And then they started finding the skeletons. Now, if cunts get killed in the harbour, where did you go? Right into the water, right? <laughs> so, so the first thing I've got to do is phone the Pauls. So the Pauls forensic come out and they were fucking great. They were brilliant. They were. They were top notch. They follow forensic. They were top notch, one hundred percent. They came out and they went right. Okay, they're all at three, three hundred fifty year old. All the skeletons, and it was it was the old the old Paul Copper was the old sergeant was excellent. They went, aye, the harper here. They went, it was a really good place to get yourself killed. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, so what? And then and then the, I went. I wanted to get down and see. So I went down, and it was like 60, 65 feet, and we're down, and we're raking about, and we're in this salt, it's like quicksand. Right. It just doesn't mix with water. It doesn't mix with water in the same way the water, the sand does at the beach. It's salt, it's, so, it's silicon sand, it's so fine, it's just so fine, you can't control it. And then I get a wee gun, and I scraped and scraped and scraped, so we did a find case with 16 wine goblets and I go to it I go to it and the two labourer boys were like enthusiastic as fuck with me and I was like oh, come on come on come on get this out because we only had another four hours and then the whole thing was shut down and filled in I was like come on come on come on and he was like oh, but yeah. come on come on come on come on and, then, and, we, and as we're scraping it's filling we're scraping it's filling we're scraping it's filling and these are two big strong boys right and we're fucking digging, 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 and it's moving, it's moving back, we're trying to block it off. So eventually it gets it out, so we, it's a case, 
16 wine goblets, right? So two of them had broke. Right, so Stephen Gordon. 14 see, see, Jacobi, 14 Jacobean wine goblets. Right, see when you're, go, see, see when you're saying goblets, right? Because uh, I'm interested. What are they made out of clay, glass, everything? Crystal. Crystal? Leaded crystal. Leaded crystal. See, when I think a goblet, I don't know why I always think of, like, I know a fucking what holy grail. No, the whole, I'm thinking the holy grail, you know, is made out of clay and shit. But, like... Well, the same shape. Aye, but fine, chi- fine China. I know it's no Chinese, the, but you know... The I mean. same shape. The same shape. Okay? You can pour a third of a bottle of wine into one. Oh, has it got a handle? Oh, I don't, because I've... I've no. No, it's not got a handle. It's just <laughs> a big, fat, low centre of gravity glass. Right? So, we split them up between everybody. Everybody got their... Everybody... Some of the guys got two, some of the guys got one. I just decided... Right, I took the best one. <laughs> I, I took the I took the best one. No, the guy that owned the site, Big Jamie, he grew up in a castle. He didn't grow up like us. He grew up in a, a castle in Glen Eagles. <laughs> he went to a private school in fucking Edinburgh, the same school as Tony Blair went to. Mm-hmm. Right? So he's he's different for us, pal. Right? So he was just thinking quantity. No quality, right? <laughs> so I picked the best one out for me, <laughs> right? And he went, I'll have three, right? Okay, Jamie, you take a three, and I had the best one, <laughs> right? But I took mine, the yeah, jeweler, and I was talking to the guy about it, and they went, look, I've got a guy that can polish us up for you, right? Because the silicon, Sand had been just worn away at them and dulled them down. Had a surface. Right, it just dulled them down. So I gave it to him and he gave it to his pal. And I go to back four weeks later, all polished. Right? Every now and again, when I get a really, really, really good bottle of wine, I'll sit and drink it. the glass. Uh, no, I was sitting drink, and in the Aloha, Aloha glass factory still there, Craig. Was it still, still operating there. the building or Com- the company itself? The whole company. Okay. It used to be a wee company, but now it's not mega fuck. It's the Pilkington glass. It's huge. The Aloha, Aloha glass. Google it. The yeah. Aloha, Aloha glass company is huge. But we got the original, we got glasses that were, you can see, see the old alliance between the Scottish and the French. See the common, see the common enemy was the English. English. Do you know where, do you know where that alliance comes from, Gordon? Probably you might. You tell me. Uh, well, it, was, it goes back to, like, you know, like uh, the, the Vikings when they were invading, raping and pillaging and all that. It has all the good stuff. Um, I was just about to say, sounds good. <laughs> no, well, I don't know, but no. When the, the the Vikings came to Scotland, they went down to Normandy, and then like it was Rollo and fucking Ragnar. That was Ragnar was in Britain. Rollo went. No, they wrote the fucking sweeties, but Rollo, his brother, went down. Oh, what you are talking about? Don't you underestimate your specky? No, no. And it, it goes back to it goes back to that, and then as you're saying over time. That's why, like, see, like, uh, the bat- for Battle of Hastings, right, 1066, right, that's when the French invaded and, like, fucking set up shop down in England and set up, what, still the towers still stand to this day, which were set up so the peasants bowed to their will. They didn't touch Scotland, because they were all fucking part of the same brotherhood. That's who was invading, man. <laughs> uh, that's, so that's, that's what I'm saying. Uh, you know Scotland that. is the only country that the Romans didn't completely conquer. 
I'm glad you said completely, man, because they did come up a good fucking good bit. Oh, they did come up. Well, fuck. They come up as far as Great Western Road, mate. <laughs> is, that, is that a sale for a joke? That. Only me and you know that as a boundary. <laughs> me and you know that as a boundary. Me, Other people listening to this know, don't know what we're talking about. The Romans were marching up and then they helped the Great Western Road. They went, wait, Rose! Fuck that, man! We're no, going back to the English! No, no they done that. Four foot five picks. Midgets. Pick. The Picts. Yeah, the, the Picts. Picks. If you look yeah, at the oldest yeah. house in Glasgow, the door is fucking five feet high. Hobbits. Are you talking Hobbits. about? Are you talking about the Lord Provence ship? Yeah, Hobbits. <laughs> Hobbits. Hobbits. <laughs> do you know? Uh, do you know? J. R. Tolkien was fucking J. R. R. Tolkien was actually very correct. What do you mean? Oh, it was say? very correct. No, they all had Scottish accents and Irish accents. Oh, the hobbits. Oh, right, right, oh, right, right. Oh, right, the I, we, we are the leprechauns, that's what you're saying. Right? Right. Their swords were <laughs> twice the height of them, and they swung them like fucking helicopters. They were as wide as they were tall. <laughs> and the Romans went, Fuck that. <laughs> for a game of soldiers. See when I meet big tall Scottish guys, I go, nah, you're no Scottish, you're probably <laughs> near Danish, Norwegian. Yeah, you know, check, check out your DNA, you fuck. Mate, I, I no. get you. See, see that I've, I, if I was to draw... Some of the most dangerous cunts I've ever met in my life are the same height as me. Ah, ah. <laughs> Mate, I would say, I would say if I was to draw a stereotype, typical Scott, I would draw them as a below average dude. You know, when I mean? they draw them like a William Wallace type, do you know what I mean? Like that's just it's just the way it's always been, man. But maybe that's just what happens when you're kicking about fucking poverty living. But do you know the thing? I done, I done, I done due diligence on on William Wallace. Do you know William Wallace was actually six foot seven? Was that William Wallace was about six foot seven? Six foot seven. I didn't know he's exactly. He was a good lad. Right? He was heavily connected with France. Right? Uh, he, was like yeah. a poor, he was a poor prince for Elders Lee. Uh, he was definitely. Sorry, Denny, mate. I know this is prince, name. But he was a good lad and he was six foot seven. Right, and his first, his first no, noted battle was when seven English so he was fishing, and seven English soldiers said to him, "Give your fish," and he was quite fair, and he said, "I'll give you half of them." Me, I need to say and this. He went, no, give them all. I need to say this. Then, then, he, then he, then sorry, I hung up on you there, and mate. Just Gordon couldn't hear you. I couldn't hear you, and I don't know what you could hear he us. I'll get a fucking, I'll get a different phone number so we can all get in the same Right, look, look, uh, right, Craig, look, I'll get my Skype sorted out. I'll get Skype sorted out on the phone. I'll get it, it sorted out that, so that I've got different platforms and you can fucking jump from platform to platform. Well, all right. What what's app is the most convenient for everybody? But like, I'm I'm the one to gain my phone number out, man, because once it's out there, it's out there and. I just don't want that fucking stress. Right, I'm kind of don't. I still don't know what you're talking about, right? Are you talking about your privacy or their privacy? Mine, mate. Uh, right, right. Trust no con. I uh, well, that's what I'm saying. It's not even that. It's not that I don't. You don't need to give me your phone number. No, I know you, where you stay. You, if you, I want to stop hey, you, I know you've where already, you you've you. already got. I don't, know, I don't need your fucking phone number. You've already got my phone number. Denny's been kicking about for years, right? I don't fucking uh, uh, worry about that. Um, fucking Chris seems like a stand-up guy. Listen, I hate to be a fan of here, but I need to show you, right? Empty bowl. What's that? Is that that green stuff? What is the green stuff no. again? Let me show you. No, that's... Stella. Aye, but it's the green um, one. Unfaltered. Aye, that's still Unfaltered. Unfaltered. But empty. Right. Wrong. Empty. Rum glass. Empty. 
You're Wine glass empty. So excuse me for a minute, because you know I like my hooch. I'll, I I shall return to annoy fuck out of you. Right, mate, I'm going to put a time limit on it because I need to feed myself and then fucking chill out for a wee bit, because believe it or not. But listen, what night is this? Listen, if you want to say good night, good night. Just say good night. Right, you what? don't need to drag a show you this. Right, that's but you can, you right. can leave me alone with my alcoholism. <laughs> I don't need you. I don't need you. I've got music. <laughs> You've got You've got a specky fan. Uh, I know, man. I've you can like... fuck off. No, but listen, Go listen. Fuck. I'm looking. Fuck. Right, this is Tuesday Fuck night. Off. This is Tuesday Fuck night. Off. What do you Fuck do? Off. What do you do most Tuesdays? What do you do most Tuesdays? Are you usually foot, footless and fancy free most Tuesdays? Because if I set, listen, if listen, I set listen. a date for this, we, we are asking say, me and I'm telling you, we shut the fuck up. Right, go for it, man. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm free. Mate, we'll the Thursday to the Monday, oh, oh, you know my shit, you know I do, you know I do property, right? Aye, aye. The boys that I work with, known, I take three days off, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <clears throat> they try not to contact me because they know that's my three days, but. I deal with a lot of boys that would like to work at the weekend, right? So my weekends are work during the day and I support Paul, Pauline social, social as fuck, right? Pauline socializes like fuck. So you get I'm busy at the weekends, pal. I'm busy at the weekends during the day. And I come home and I have a shower, and she tells me who we're going to have dinner with. <laughs> right. Well, how does so it? How does this sound, Gordon? Right, I would love. I would. I love to talk to you, wee man. I love to talk to you, right? So if you want to contact me any like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, good as fuck. Right. Let's try and put a date on it because it gives me something to try and fucking make sure I hit the mark. So let's aim for next Tuesday, right? How do you feel about okay. we, we can sort out we can sort out if you can sort out Skype, right, we'll hit base before fucking day nine. Uh, I'll get that sorted out. And we can get Carl Denny, right? He's an Irish dude. And last time I spoke to him he was in Denmark. Uh he's a good buzz. And uh, I remember Carl Denny. I remember him. Oh I mean, he's been alone for fucking fucking ever. And uh, he's plugged and he's okay. Chris is a uh, uh, ramblings of an See Irishman. See if you can get Mick Vickers. He's a bitch fanny. See if you can get his wife's face out of fucking muff. I just lasted. I lasted just lights getting chewed on, yeah, man. Try and pull his heat. He's not here, but try and pull his gab him by the ears and try and pull his face out of fucking crotch. I did get a happy fucking home life, man. No, but he makes no, it. No, she's got can. a happy fucking home life. It's <laughs> always out of fud. Well, uh, I, well, I've gave. I'll give him the heads up, man, and if if he can pencil it in, he's uh, in he's uh, right. Organize what you organize what you can. But what I'll do in the meantime, I'll get one of my fucking people to organize my Skype. I can't even bother. Aye. See, I I smash laptops and fucking tablets <laughs> and shit. No, I yeah. fuck them up, ass. I don't just fuck them off the worst. I'm pulling the bastards, right? Well, just... So what I'll do is I'll get one of my people to organise my Skype. Because I have got Skype. All I need to do is get it sorted. And I will do that, Craig. Well, I will do that. Here's the, thing, okay? here's the thing as well, right? If we use Skype rather than that, if we use WhatsApp, now don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure if, if you spoke to other people, you would all have each other's phone numbers. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. And it's a fuck for me. That's a security risk because you don't want it to be sitting. I mean, I was sitting there one night, fucking chilling with Sandra, and then fucking end up getting fucking bad at it. You know, it's no. And it takes you for there to there, man, and you're like fucking. And you've got. I don't know what you're talking about, son, because cunts don't fuck with me. No, I know, right, but I'm j- but. Mate, don't, that's a red rag to fucking a little bill to assholes who can remain anonymous. They'll buy a SIM card and then challenge you 
And then you'll be sitting there wanting to chop off heads and have nobody's head to chop off, mate. And it's the most frustrating thing in the world. And they know that. And they'll sit and happily watch the, the, the downfall. And you're, and you're like, no, but I'll find out who they are. You can't. Can he? No way. Can he be done? And they live off that. My, my five guys will tell me who oh, they are. Oh, mate, I wish you fucking, I know, man. I know, but, oh. But uh, anyway, bud, that's the fucking plan. We'll try and sort shit out for next Tuesday, man. Uh, and I don't even know what time did. I fucking, uh, well, I, next Tuesday, if everything's going according to plan, I'll be home sorted for fucking eight, nine o'clock-ish. My guys will fry their cat. <laughs> well, well, let's not take that risk. Get get, get yourself. It's not the a private. Can we have a private conversation about that one? <laughs> right, give me two seconds. I'm just going to say bye, everybody. Happy, happy. What the fuck's that mean? Thanks to everybody in the chat. Uh, hopefully, we'll do something like this uh, next Tuesday as well, and get. Uh, Chris, I keep wanting to call you Ramblings because of your fucking handle. And Cardini. We public keep to the guy. Just now, mate, give me two, give me two, give me 30 seconds and I'm just going to sign his out. Uh, if you haven't voted in the poll, quickly vote in the poll because I'm going to end it now. Uh, thanks for tuning in. What are we voting for? The vote, the poll was, do you hate this new hate speech law? I was trying to get his Say, I, I done that right. one. That was ages ago. And, uh, 86% says yes, 7% no, and then the other one, which I thought was funny, not sure, and I hate that, <laughs> which I thought was funny because I was just trying to get as much hate in it as possible. Uh, so I let's start a hate campaign against the fucking hate speech laws. They're redonkulous and they shouldn't be fucking put in place. And uh, who's the arbiter of hate? Where is the arbiter of hate? And that lies in the judiciary, the judges... And the cops who do choose. Remember, if you get huckled, they are corrupt, mate. You're done. Now, well, well, that's it, mate. When you get, when you, if you get huckled off the cops, it's up to their, it's their discretion. They are corrupt. Well, we're fucked. No, but they, it's in their discretion, and they're all a bunch of pussy boy fucking roys. Anyway, the only people I trust is my MI five guys. <laughs> so watch out, motherfuckers. And we'll see you next Tuesday. So, mate, I'm going to play the outro and then we're off ski. Keeps clear. Oh, no, and stopped. remember, citizens, always subscribe. So remember, Hit the notification bell as well. Bell and 995 plus shipping and handling will 